Beijing Silver Mine is a project I started in May 2009 when I started collecting negatives uh, from a recycling plant in Beijing. Basically, those negatives were collected by one guy who is specialized in uh, recycling trashes containing silver nitrate. I had an agreement with him, bought the negatives by the kilo, and that's how the project started. I've been now collecting negatives from him for four years. Uh, the collection counts a bit more than half a million negatives and they are the daily pictures of uh, everyday Chinese during the 20 years of uh, the economic opening, mostly starting from 1985, that's, what, that's when um, analog photography started being used massively in China, to 2005 when digital photography started taking over. While facing such a quantity of images, half a million pictures, uh, I basically uh, tried to explore two, di two different directions. Uh, one um, being very universal, including themes such as uh, birth, youth, work, leisure, love, death. So really themes that are not necessarily really uh, connected to Beijing, to China, but more connected to human being at large. Another direction I'm actually exploring are more specific themes connected to the history of Beijing. Uh, and those are themes where the households are modernizing, women pose next to the fridge, next to the TV, the city is opening to the west, Ronald McDonald enter the city, posters of Marilyn Monroe enters people's homes. Uh, so it's really a combination of uh, different approaches. But every time I try not to uh, explore personal and intimate stories, but uh, I try rather to find themes that would emerge organically and that would be uh, the memories of a city. Probably what's the most important is the face of Chinese society it depicts at that time. That the Chinese people, like they've never been showed before, it's really something different from what you can see in contemporary photography or any kind of other visual material, really. This is a work I had the chance to show in China, in Singapore, in England, and today in Hong Kong. I was before offered very big spaces to show the work. This time at the Salt Yard, uh, it's a, a space which has like a home a scale, a home feeling, uh, which particularly fits this group of uh, rather personal images. Uh, so I'd like to warmly thank uh, Salt Yard for uh, accepting and uh, showing this, word, this work um, in Hong Kong for the first time. Mm -hmm.